Warning, this video may not be suitable for children. They say you do not leave this earth before your time is up. Not one second before or one second after. It is the precise time for you to draw your last breath. But what if you're not ready to leave this life? Rose came from a family of nine. She had five sisters and one brother. Mum and dad were hard-working middle-class parents. She was living with her parents at the time and had a normal life, nothing out of the ordinary. This is until the visitor appeared to her at night. The year 1981 was when it all started. There were nights Rose would wake up screaming. She would tell the family about an apparition of a young boy. According to Rose's accounts, she saw a dark shadowy boy who held what seemed to be a ball under his arm. He would stand at the end of the bed and ask, Do you want to play with me? Rose would start screaming, calling for help, only to have the boy disappear. This went on for weeks and months, but it was not that hot summer night things changed. Rose remembers it quite well. She went to sleep that night as usual. I was asleep in the room next to her. Then it happened. I was awoken by this feeling of someone running their hand up and down my forearm. As I got up to see who it was, I was startled to find no one in my room. Before I had the chance to comprehend what had happened, Rose started to scream. Not thinking twice, I got up and ran to her room. I tried to open the door, but it felt like the door was locked. Rose's screams continued. For what seemed like eternity, Rose finally came out, short of breath, pale, and could hardly speak. After she calmed down, she was able to tell us what happened. That night, she was awoken by a tall, slender man who told her, Do you want to play with me? As she tried to make her way to the door, the chair she had in her room was jarred up against the door. She tried to open it but could not budge the chair. She turned to the slender man and yelled at him, By the power of God, I command you to leave. The slender man just disappeared. Rose believes the boy that had been appearing to her was really the slender man apparition. He was trying to fool her into going with him, and after several attempts he appeared as the real self, but with Rose saying the prayer, he left never to be seen again. What happened that night we will never know. Was it Rose's imagination, or was it really a spirit that wanted to play? What do you think? Have you or anyone you know experienced something from the unexplained? I would love to hear your story. Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another episode. Until next time, don't be afraid of what you can see. It is the unseen that awaits your fear.